Look at you guys waiting around. We have hundreds of dogs come through Panda Paws Rescue every year. We take them in, we find them homes, and then it's on to the next. Oh my gosh. Amanda's the face of Panda Paws. You know, whatever she wants is what I'll support. She is saving animals and changing the world and being a beacon of light that, <laughs> you know, wasn't there before. Gary, home to Gary. Home to Gary. We're going to need you to come take some photos of the puppies. Scrub it with soap, cutie. <laughs> you missed the spot. Gary, don't ignore me. Gary! Coming! <laughs> Today, we're gonna to do a photo shoot for two of our newest rescues, Cumulus and Cirrus Nimbus. We named them that because they look like little cute puffy clouds. <laughs> These two boys have been in our care now for a few days and they're both on the blind and deaf spectrum. Super Nimbus. I've already spent quite a bit of time assessing their temperament and barring any major medical issues, these two boys are ready for their forever homes. Okay, so here, really cute. Gary is the resident photographer because I break technology equipment. You're so cute, ow! <laughs> and he knows how to edit them and watermark them and not lose them as soon as it touches a computer. Anything that has to do with technology and pen and paws, I handle. That's cute. We take photos of all of our rescues, really to show their personality, what they truly look like help the general public get to know these pets and the ideal goal is that they'll see that one photo and go, that's my puppy. It's very important to me that we build Cirrus Nimbus, a character, and Cumulus Nimbus, a character that really paints a perfect picture of who they are so when families do adopt one, they know exactly what they're getting. I believe that every animal in rescue should see a veterinarian to make sure that from the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail, they're truly the healthiest they could possibly be prior to adoption. Just, does it sound like angels inside of there? <laughs> <laughs> of course. We want a wellness check so that we know, okay, this dog needs a specific diet or this dog needs medication for life. And that way, when we get them adopted, their adopter is 100% mentally prepared for what that dog's going to need for however many years they have that animal. These guys look very healthy, and I think whoever has them will <laughs> very much enjoy their personalities. <laughs> Gonna rule that house, huh? Now that the Nimbus brothers got a healthy seal of approval from the vet, they are ready for their forever families. I've already put their information out on social media, and we're just basically waiting for someone to apply for each one of them. Today is the last day that Cirrus Nimbus and Cumulus Nimbus, the Cloud Brothers, are gonna be together. Personality-wise, they couldn't be any more polar opposite, and we really try to separate litter mates as much as possible. So I know because they're both blind and deaf, a lot of people would think, let's keep them together. A lot of times if you keep litter mates together, including special needs litter mates, they end up picking on each other, having some dominance issues. So we're gonna go ahead and separate them today and send them off in their forever families. And it's the last day they're gonna be together. My name is Tanisha and I'm here to adopt a little dog named Cirrus. Hi, come on guys. I found out about Cirrus following Amanda's social page and saw that he needed a home. So I applied to adopt him. I do not have any experience with blind or deaf dogs, but I have a very open, loving home and we're gentle people. I think that's all you need to take care of a disabled animal. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Come on in. <laughs> Hi. It's really interesting. A lot of people think that a deaf and blind puppy would need something so extremely unique. There is your baby. But really, it just takes a family that's gonna be really patient. <laughs> they're totally fine, they're healthy, they're thriving and they're happy. So it's just about keeping them safe and working on their training. So he cannot see and he cannot hear. So he's gonna need you kids to take extra, extra care looking out for him, making sure that he's always safe. 
he can't hear you running towards him and he can't see you running towards him. So you'll always have to make sure that you watch out for him versus a lot of times dogs watch out for us. He's so tiny. Anytime that we're able to place a special needs animal in a home that does have children, that is just a instant jackpot for me because those children are going to take away a lifelong lesson from living with and caring for and befriending this special needs animal that can't be taught in a textbook. He, he can't hear us. <laughs> but you know what? He sees and he hears with his heart. He loves with his heart. Goodbye, BB. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One cloud floating off. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Congratulations on your new baby. He is adorable. Ah, I could just eat him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the kids are very, very excited for this new addition. They've been asking for a puppy for about a year. Oh my goodness. Look with your heart outside the window. Hello, come on in. I'm Jamie. I'm Hillary. And we are transport failures. Indeed. A transport failure can mean either you failed to complete your transport or the transporter fell madly in love with the dog and they couldn't do anything but adopt it. Cumulus was kissing my nose, basically trying to eat it as we were handing the puppies over to Amanda and I just fell in love with him right there. Cumulus, the bus. <laughs> what he has with his eyes to make him blind is called micro-ophthalmolia. It literally means a microscopic eye. Aww. He can see very bright light up close. So if you had a flashlight real close, he can follow that. Cumulus can hear a whistle. So does he hear height, height like these? Yeah, he does. Okay. He will pause. Pick whatever sound you want to use for him to pause and look for you. And so as soon as he pauses and he'll tilt his head, quickly reward him with a treat. There's your new baby. I'm so happy. Hopefully he gets along with the chickens. All of our other dogs do. Yeah. Oh, that happy nice. breath. <laughs> You're a very lucky boy. There's your mommy. Hi, baby. Congratulations. Oh. It's a boy. I know. <laughs> A lot of people who have adopted special needs animals from us, they always unanimously come back to us and tell us how different the kind of love that that animal gives them. I don't know, I just think that if you are that kind of compassionate person to open up your heart to a special needs animal, you're gonna be the person who is receiving that special kind of love that they can offer.